shops, some picture framing shops, different art suppliers have pre-cut st uh, stretcher bar. Now the distinction here between the joined uh, strainer and the slotted stretcher is that the stretcher is adjustable. And what I mean by that is that you can put this right. together so you can add more tension at a later stage. Now one thing, if you are actually using these slotted type bars, I'd recommend that you check for squareness before you start stretching your canvas. So this would go together, I'm just going to tap it together. A little square brace, and that will hold that square while I actually stretch the canvas over it. Now I'm not going to be using a stretcher today and what I was saying about those stretchers is they can be expanded so they are it's usually more desirable to have a painting on a stretcher frame than a strainer but a strainer the canvas around to the back of the frame in some circumstances it would be stapled and pinned on the side and if you're going to frame it that's quite acceptable I mean there are a number of canvases actually I think I've got another one there you know in a little frame Oh, here's a little here's a little Fredericks one on its own. So that has actually been stapled around the side. So when it's been when it's been canvas, I might just fold this bit up. I'd like to work that canvas. Gradually towards the corner. Now some people go all the way along one side, uh, and some of those bulk stretching machines work on that way but then I think you don't get us even a stretch folding over that triangle come along the top so one I'm taking all the way to the corner with a little bit of tension in it then I fold that triangle in Okay, so uh, Peter was just asking, uh, is it important how far apart we actually put the staples? Um, well, generally the course of the fabric, the, um, the further apart you can put the staples. If you've got a fine weave, you may want them closer together. But bear in mind that every staple that you're putting into that...